Hello friends, in this video I would like to talk about such an interesting subject as axe fighting, battling with an axe and uh, furthermore I will dedicate this video to basically one very simple straightforward technique that anybody can learn under two hours and once learned it is probably the most effective technique should you wish to fight with an axe. I don't know why would you want to fight with an axe in general unless it's some sort of apocalyptic scenario where you have nothing but an axe to defend yourself with but nevertheless this in my humble opinion again is the most effective technique to encounter and engage a two-legged opponent or opponents in general so don't use this technique or don't attack anybody with an axe unless you're defending yourself you are protecting people that are being attacked by some sort of criminals and be smart with it it's not a toy it's a very effective tool tool that can be used for things such as cutting trees or cutting somebody's flesh heads limbs and other things so it's a dangerous toy to play with know and know how to use it first and then respect it but uh, Let's talk about axe fighting in general. There are no weird, super complicated uh, techniques really in this type of combat. So all of that that's being shown to you on TV, all that is bullshit. That does not have enough strength, drive, momentum. All it just looks fancy on camera. But really the basic strikes and the most eff effective strikes with an axe is the way you chop wood. So you would raise and smash. That's pretty much straightforward and you would do mm, basically that British flag where you just crisscross one, two, you'd hit from the sides. If means allow you can hit from the bottom, but you obviously you would do it with your full strength. That is why axe is so effective. It will just go through armor, any type of defensive positions. If somebody blocks it with anything, it will pretty much go through it. That's the strength and the positive side of fighting with an axe. Now, its biggest downfall or the negative side is that whenever you make a strike, because the axe, well, at least the top of the axe itself is so heavy, it will pull you in the direction where you're going. And the problem with that, once you go in a direction that you're being pulled by this axe after the strike, your entire body is now exposed to counter strikes with a spear, with a sword, whatever whether you can be punched anything can happen to you once you're right here this is the most dangerous and this happens every time you fight with an axe whatever strike you make you counter strike you're opening up you're striking back you're opening up just vital organs of your body even an arm being hit by an other axe if you're hit right here that's it you lose your arm so i was thinking what can i do to counter this problem with an axe at least minimize it to my best ability and here is what i thought of this this is an interesting and very straightforward move in a technique that i would like to share with you in this video okay okay enough talking let's start showing what you must do and why it is why anyone can learn it very fast and it's very effective so when you make a strike with an axe for whatever reason you wish to strike an axe but once you're making that strike this is the most common strike people make they take it from the top and they slash right across once you go here as i showed you are fully exposed so what do you do in this situation here's what so you make slash like that bam you counter right back and as you can see i countered with another arm so again you make that strike and you counter. You make standard strike and you counter. That means you're minimizing your exposure after each strike. As you've noticed, I instantly grab it by another hand and I come back and I counter. So that is this simple technique that you can learn in a very short time because it's nothing strange but there are little points to know so when you're first making a strike you're holding the axe at the very bottom the 
and the handle of the max at the very bottom. That is because you want to maximize the full strength and the strike of that initial blow. But should you miss, this is the most important part. Basically, this is this technique is focused on one thing only. If you hit with this first strike, game over for your opponent. But should you miss, should they have a shield, should they step back, and for whatever reason it goes through, this is when they're gonna go do their counter strike. That's when you have the surprise for them. So you grab the axe, but you do not do a switch where you're already holding the axe. So you're not doing any type of trickery with your hands or anything. You simply strike holding the axe at the very bottom, the handle of the axe at the very bottom. But when you counter, you grab it by pretty much the middle where my black black part on the handle is. So you grab it in the middle and you strike. And what you can do, once you grab it in the middle, just let it go a little bit, it will slide all the way. Your hand will slide all the way back to the bottom. So here's how it looks. You strike, grab it in the middle and let go. And my hand was already there. So again, strike, grab in the middle, let go. See, my hand is already here. Strike. Well, I grab it in the middle and that anyway. Here's how this works. That's the basic technique. You can do it from any hand. Doesn't matter, but that's how the technique works and it is very effective. It is very effective for this interesting reason. When you do such a strike and you miss, pretty much most opponents understand that. And this is when they will be coming in closer to you. And that is perfect because they don't expect that you will be doing this such a quick and a dangerous counter move. So when you strike, they start coming closer and that's when you have this surprise for them. You're not doing, so you're not doing any type of weird or more complicated moves because let's say if you strike and what do you do? How do you come back from this position? You need to use your strength now, come back like that with an axe. So it's, well, it requires more strength from you or you strike and then you spin. But that again, opening up your entire body to some sort of a counter. Well, it's opening up your body for your opponent to counter move and you're now exposed for much longer periods of time. So you strike and then you counter. Quickest way to do that. Almost like golf. But here's how this looks on a dead tree. Do not destroy live trees, please. We need to protect our forests. But I will show you how to engage an opponent in the form of this tree. So I will be hitting from my right hand and then countering with my left so you can see better. Let's go. Now, I can switch hands and, uh, actually no, I'm not going to switch hands because that's the same thing, but what I want to show you is now, if you miss twice or you can miss as many times as you want. So for, for example, you're striking, miss, striking, miss, and on the third one you hit. So in a much more faster scenario. It's something like this, because you're not always going to hit from the first or second try. But if you miss, miss, and then bang, you deliver the blow. Miss, miss. You then deliver the deadly counter strike. So I will just work on this tree a little bit, and you can watch how all of this looks from the side.
All right, I had to cut this tree down because it was unsafe to train like that. But um, this stump actually offers me a unique possibility to show you this technique in a much better way. Because what will allow me to do is to intentionally miss by hitting above and then counter and hit the stump, simulating a hit now of the opponent. So this, this is exactly what I wish to show you. But as you can see, that is how effective this technique is. All right. So let's uh, go. So we miss and then we hit. Miss and then we hit. We miss and then we hit. And vice versa. No. Whew. That is pretty much what I wanted to show you. The training has been done with an axe that my father assembled and modified. It is named Atami King 1. And you can go on his YouTube channel where you will find many more modifications such as this. Whew. This is an excellent workout while you're training and doing these type of moves so that is what i encourage all of you to try and experiment with test this technique out let me know your thoughts whether you like it whether you agree with me whether or not whether you do not agree with me and if so why but that is the at least my opinion number one technique to fight with an axe it is very simple to learn and uh, I encourage you to do so. Thank you for watching and until next videos. Bye bye.